Hey, Nalia. Oh, hey, Lily's here. Uh, I'm not starting early. I just wanted to get the stream up and going. Um... And tweet about it and all that so everybody would know that we're getting started. Are you, are either of you cooking with me or are you just watching? Oh, also I need to move this. Aw, thanks for the tweet, Lily. Fifty gold for the tweet. Always not safe for work. My channel is always not safe for work. Always, always, always. <laughs> well, what kind of pizza? What are you getting on your pizza? This is always an important question. Viper, hey. When are you and Simply Lady like gonna be home? Also, is Panda here yet? We need Panda. And Dippy's supposed to be, I don't know if Dippy's watching or going to watch it later. I just got home and I'm busy devouring a late lung. Devouring lungs, are we? Uh, stopped by Pioneer Square downtown to see a couple of friends and pick up perhaps some of the best vegetarian burritos to be found in Portland. That's high praise. Good vegetarian, the best of anything vegetarian in Portland is epic. You are not late, Panda. I don't want anything too heavy tonight. Just leaving, so barring any traffic, we'll be home in about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, cool. So, um, I don't think any of you are cooking with me at this point. So I'm just, hold on, is it, f nope, we still have three minutes. I lied. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're not going yet. <laughs> How do you guys like the overlay? Is it working well? Does it look good? Are we happy with it? And can you read all the ingredients or is the stream really shitty and you can't read them? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, it's great, good. It's cute overlay, yay! All right, Viper, we'll see you soon. Bye, be safe, please drive safely. Okay, good. What's your favorite knife grip? I didn't know they had names. Hey, Sethos. Um, I just hold mine normally. The way I was taught in the kitchen. I probably don't need my watch on, my big, big watch. Put that over there. How are you doing this afternoon slash evening, Sethos? I can't remember where you are, so I don't know what time it is for you. Panda is a mod, like, everywhere. Because <laughs> Panda's a great mod. Ah, uh, Bay Area. Okay. So, yeah, it's afternoon for you. Thank you for the host, Lily! Woohoo! Okay. So, it's about 4 o'clock. Um, before we get started, have any of you cooked Thai food before? Probably got to AFK and look for a bit, though, sweets. That's cool. I appreciate it. Um, have any of you guys cooked Thai food before? No. Do you like Thai food? I guess that's a good question to ask, right? I, w <laughs> I want to eat it, though. Eating Thai food is a delicious, wonderful thing to do. So in Thai food, uh, oh yeah, of course, Lily has. Hey now, I'm not too bad about, no, you're a great mod. Thank you for the high host, Viper. I don't know if you're actually still here or if you're driving home, but thank you. <laughs> um... Do it. Make me bad time. Get that tamarind in there. Okay, so this is tamarind. 
we're using cooking tamarind. This is tamarind concentrate. Um, in Thai food, one of the biggest flavors that they use that we kind of ignore here in the United States is sour flavors. And we're gonna match this sour flavor with another super Thai flavor, which is palm sugar. So these are the two things that I feel like uh, are a huge base of pad thai and then the other one that we kind of Americanized and they don't necessarily use a lot of in Thailand But we're gonna use a little bit of it tonight is peanut butter So I'm using roasted no salt added peanut butter So these are the the three Basic ingredients we're gonna add to our pad thai sauce, but the first thing we want to do uh, There's two ways you can buy the pad thai noodles and I bought both so I can show them to you these ones are the completely dry ones. And you can get whatever width you want, but these are the ones I got. And then these kind of partially cooked ones, which is what I kind of prefer and what we're going to use. These ones here. So they're, they've already been soaked a little bit. There's actually a recipe for pad thai in the back of here, but I don't like it, so we're not using it. So we're going to use these ones tonight, but if you're using the super, super dry, the totally dry ones, uh, what you want to do is take these and put them in a bowl of hot water. Hey, Teletac, we're cooking tonight. Actually cooking. You're not going to watch me cook in a game. <laughs> we're going to cook for real. Um, so yeah, if you're using the super, super, super dry ones, you're going to put them in a bowl of hot water for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes until they get uh, kind of soft al dente-ish to make sure that when you throw them into your stir fry, they don't take forever to cook. So that's a big one. But because I don't have to soak mine because we're using the already soaked ones here, uh, we're gonna skip that. Okay, so next we're going to prep the broccoli and the carrot and the garlic and the uh, shallots. So I have shallots and garlic. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do the carrot and the broccoli first. Chop off the ends and then peel it real quick. Peel, peel, peel. Okay, so peeled carrot. Here we go. I needed to bring the trash over here, which I didn't do. And then we'll, I can't compost here. I wish that I could, but I cannot. So I have to throw all of this away. And then you can cut the carrot in whatever. Hey, Crusith, welcome. We're cooking tonight. We're making pad thai. Have you ever had it? You can peel with a knife, too. That is a thing you can do. Okay, so you can cut this carrot into whatever shape uh, you like. Mostly it's going to change the texture, not necessarily the flavor. So you can just cut it down the line in rounds. You can cut it into matchsticks. You can cut it into whatever you want. So we're going to do matchsticks. I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to go just slice it down. I'm sorry I don't have a better setup for this, guys, but I hope you can kind of see what I'm doing. And if you have questions, just ask me. So they're all going to come out to be, like, thin pieces. Runs out to buy carrot. Man, I forgot you were doing this. I'll just eat my Progresso soup while I watch you cook. <laughs> Runs to buy kitchen. You guys are hysterical. Okay, so we're doing some little... They're not really matchsticks. They're just going to be little small pieces of carrot like this. So go ahead and cut those up real quick. Carrots, 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 carrots everywhere. So this recipe is going to serve two to three people. Um, unless you're me, in which case I will probably just eat it all by myself. I am a vegetable murderer, Lily. It's a thing that I do. I'm a terrible person. Terrible person. Should we put some music on or something? Do you guys want music? 
reported for violence. I can put on music of some kind. If anyone wants that. If we feel like that's a thing we should have. And all the cooking videos have like music in them and stuff. It's fine. Okay. Retirement even. Vegetables have feelings, guys. Someone quote Lily. Vegetables have feelings. Was it Lily? Oh no, Nalia. Someone quote Nalia. Vegetables have feelings. We need to take care of the vegetables. Welcome to all the new people that are here watching that I haven't met before. Thank you for joining us. We are making pad thai tonight. I have an ingredient list on the right if you wanted to follow along or if you want to screenshot it. It is also listed on my profile, uh, so feel free to grab it off of there if you want to make some pad thai. Hey, Total Wreckage, welcome back. <laughs> Thanks, Panda. Right, so the carrot's ready. We have some some carrot stuff ready to be uh, stir-fried in in a little bit. Getting rid of this guy. And then I have a broccoli crown. Keep forgetting which direction. We're going to take... Panda, you spelled feelings wrong. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take all the little florets off there. I'm having trouble reading chat. Uh, and not cutting my fingers off. So if I miss anything, just say it again. And I apologize in advance. I'm probably only going to use about half of these florets because I feel like that's more than enough broccoli. We're going to cut them down a little bit. My mic is off. You guys haven't heard me this whole time? Seriously? I don't think it is. Okay. Okay, good. I was worried for a second there. I was wondering how the quote got added when I asked it to be added. Uh, <laughs> broccoli has more protein than beef uh, per gram. Uh, broccoli actually does have quite a bit. The problem is you can't eat as much broccoli as you can eat beef because the fiber fills you up way too fast. You would not be able to eat your way through enough broccoli to get the protein that you needed before getting way, way, way too full. I did wash my hands before we started Teletac. I have the soap right here. Okay, so broccoli is ready. Um, now we're going to put together the stuff for the actual sauce. I'm using this small bowl to do that. So we're going to put that here. We're going to take our tamarind. This stuff is super sour. If you haven't tried it, concentrated cooking tamarind. This is a Thai ingredient. It's made from tamarind, which is a fruit. It is super, 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 super sour, but really, really good. And we're going to offset the super sour flavor with uh, palm sugar. So this is an ingredient that's used a lot in Thailand because sour is a, a big flavor that they use pretty often. Um, hold on, I'll show you what it looks like. It's just kind of this uh, brown paste. What the fuck? I can see your lips moving and it says that the thing is like 10 seconds later on my phone. That's weird. All right, so we're going to use two tablespoons of tamarind. Then we're going to match that with two tablespoons of water. And 
because it's a concentrate, you want to make sure that you thin it out a little bit or it's going to be way too overpowering. All right. So there's that. You can tell when you're in a chef's kitchen because written all over everything will be the date that it was opened. So if you look through my fridge, I have everything dated. You can see like I put the date that I opened it so I know when it goes bad. <laughs> so that's our tamarind. We're going to add a little bit of red pepper flakes. Um, I believe in the recipe I called for... Oh, I didn't. Did I not put it in there at all? Oh yeah, a half teaspoon. This isn't... Hey, Plovy! Uh, how much of this you add is entirely up to you. It just depends on how spicy you want it. So uh, add a little bit. You can always add more later. I'm going to delete this app and relate it. Okay, we'll see you later. We'll see you hopefully soon. So there's that. What else was I putting in here? Ah, lime juice. We're going to take about a quarter of a lime. We're going to squeeze the juice right in there. This is another sour flavor. Again, we're going for sours. Mega spicy. So there's our lime. So we have two sour flavors. You can also add some uh, rice vinegar if you want to make it even a little bit more sour and kind of tart. And then because we're not using fish sauce, my little short arms are going to get us out some soy sauce. Now, you have a choice here when it comes to uh, how to get your salt in. You can add soy sauce instead of fish sauce, which is entirely fine, or you can just add salt. I like to add soy sauce because I feel like it gives extra flavor instead of just adding salt, but it's up to you. Getting salt, seeing any bit of food just thrown in the trash. All right, so we have four tablespoons of this. There we go. And then the last ingredient that you're going to want in your pad thai sauce is palm sugar. So let's get that. Where did I put it? Palm sugar. This stuff. Pure palm sugar. Now, these, this stuff comes in these mean kind of loud bricks. <laughs> and it's kind of hard to tell how much exactly you're getting because you, it's a hard, like when I say use two tablespoons, you don't necessarily, hey Dio, you don't necessarily know how much that is. So I'm just going to use one half of this thing. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in a mason jar with a little bit of water. And I'm going to microwave it until it's warm enough to melt. Start. Okay. So here's our sauce so far. We have our little broccolis ready. We have our little carrots ready. And now we're going to do the shallots and the garlic. I think I said three cloves of garlic. You have a choice now here, guys. There's a choice to be had. You can press it with a garlic press. Or you can mince it by hand. So just decide how finely you want your garlic minced. And we'll do that. I tend to prefer to mince my own, but you guys do whatever you feel is best. After 50 seconds, here's our palm sugar and water. We're going to stir it up a little bit. It's dissolved, mostly, and we're just going to pour it into our sauce. 
most of it. Okay. So there's the pad thai sauce. Yay! We're going to set this aside for now. We're going to work on our garlic real quick. Yeah, uh, if there's any ingredients that you guys don't know where to find, just ask me and I will let you know kind of where to find them. The tamarind you can find in any Asian grocery store and you're going to find it in the area where they have like the pre-made sauces, like the pre-made pad thai sauce. Uh, and it'll say concentrated cooking tamarind. That's the one you want to get. Oh, I don't need you. So we're going to go ahead and mince our garlic. Keep your fingers kind of tucked in so you don't cut your fingertips off. That's a bad thing. We don't enjoy that. I've done it a few times in my uh, my cooking career. It's not fun. Then you end up going to the hospital and visiting people like Nalia so they can stitch you up. You don't know how hard it is for me to find miso. Uh, Teletac, send me the city that you live in if you don't mind. You can whisper it to me. Um, and I will Google some places in your area and see if we can find you that stuff because miso shouldn't be hard to find. Oh yeah, French. The damn French. Damn Canadians. I'm just kidding, Lily. I love you. Got stitched up today. How is your toe, Dio? Are you feeling any better? All right, so there's our garlic. I'm gonna rinse my knife off real quick. And then we're going to take our shallots. I'm going to grab one shallot. Thai time, I live in Orlando. Teletech, are you kidding? There's like four Asian markets I used to go to in Orlando. There's tons of them. All right, we're going to take this shallot. We're also going to mince this. We're going to cut the ends off. Oh, you guys want to see something cool Jason got me and gave me as an early Christmas present? So I'm super sensitive to onions when I cut them. So he got me these onion cutting goggles and they have this like foam so that I don't get onion juice in my eyes. I'm sure there is, I didn't go to them yet. Yeah, miso should be one of those things that's pretty easy to find these days. All right, so we're taking the skin off of the shallot here real quick. Maybe. I promise I know what I'm doing. May not seem like it right now, but I do. All right, all that onion paper. I'm just gonna make a couple slices. We're not necessarily going to mince this. We're just gonna chop it up a little bit more fine, uh, just so we don't have huge chunks of shallots. To my doctor. It wasn't bad. He really didn't stitch me up. He glued it. Just rub some dirt on it. That was my dad's answer to everything, Anzriel. My dad's like, I can make some mud. We could put some mud on it. I'm like, why would you put mud on it? All those home remedies of a person out of a family with 11 kids. They didn't go to the doctor for anything. All right, so we have some kind of roughly chopped shallots. That's about as far as we're going with those. All right, let me clean up here a little bit, guys. We're gonna, oh, we were gonna add some peanut butter to our pad thai, but we can do that in a minute. So we're done with you. I'm not using you right now. I'm done with you. Mise en place, mise en place. I'm done with you two. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Still need you guys. Okay, so, duct tape. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you guys a little bit so you can kind of see my stove. Uh, this is the most terrible setup for this and I'm so sorry. When I started setting up for it, I didn't realize, 
I don't know, how bad my camera kind of was and how bad the space was and how I didn't really have the room to do this, but we're going to make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pot. I'm going to turn it up to medium, like a six and a half, seven. It'll depend on your stove. Um, we're going to use a little bit of this cooking oil. Okay. For anyone that's cooking Asian food, I want you to raise your right hand and I want you to promise me something. Are you guys ready? I want all of you to repeat after me. I promise I will never use olive oil in Asian cooking. I'm not going to continue until I hear it or see it. Thank you, Panda. This is so important. Cross his fingers behind back. So there's nothing wrong with olive oil. Olive oil is really good, but it has a really fruity flavor that's not meant. Hey, animated break. Um, a really fruity flavor that's not meant for Asian cooking. You want to use neutral flavored oils like grapeseed oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, or like a peanut or sesame oil that's meant for Asian cooking. I use the tears of my enemies. Thank you guys for being here. This is so much fun. I can't believe there's so many people here. I've never had this many people in my channel. Okay. Who in the world would use olive oil for Asian cooking? I've always used peanut oil. Yep, peanut and sesame oil are great. Or, again, the neutral flavored oils like grapeseed oil, uh, vegetable oil, or blends therein. This one is a grapeseed and canola blend. It's all about cooking. Go for it. I use motor oil for Asian cooking. You would. I don't cook Asian. All right, so we're heating up our pan. You want to make sure when you're cooking like stir fries and stuff, you want to give your pan enough time to heat up before you start throwing food in it um, because every piece of food you throw in is going to be cooler than the pan itself and it's going to drop the temperature. So you want to make sure it's high enough that when you start putting your food in, um, it's going to keep that temperature high enough to keep cooking and get the textures and flavors that you want. Because I don't cook Asian yet. Thank you, Plovy. All right, so we're going to add a little bit. We're going to do this in batches. We're going to do our uh, shallots and garlic and vegetables with a little bit of the sauce first. And then we're going to do that in one batch. We're going to set it aside, and then we're going to do the noodles in the same pan. So here we go. We're going to put a little bit of oil in first. We're going to make sure it's heated up enough, kind of coating the bottom. We're going to start with the shallots. I know you guys can't see this part, and I'm so sorry. The garlic's going to come next in just a minute. These cooks that just eyeball the ingredients, I'm not confident with that yet. Um, if I weren't doing this on stream, I wouldn't be measuring anything, because normally I don't. But uh, this is a recipe I've worked on for a little while, so I'm pretty confident it's going to turn out well. Um, and I've written it down for a few people in the past. All right, while the shallots are starting to cook, we're going to get the sprouts and the green onions ready. Can you guys hear it sizzle? I need measuring cups and spoons. All right, we're gonna cut all these kind of dead tops off so that we have this nice green bit. And then we're also going to cut off all the white bit down here. I hold on to these and reuse them in my stock when I make vegetable stock, uh, but you guys don't have to. Now I'm getting hungry. All right, we're setting these aside. We need about a cup and a half of green onions. We're gonna use, we're gonna cook half of them in and then we're gonna kind of toss a bunch in right at the end uh, 
to keep them a little bit more crisp. So we're going to use about two bunches of um, green onions. I'm just going to get these all ready. For stock, cut these little green bits off. Chop. And you want to cut them in about one inch pieces, give or take a little bit. One inch, some of them are a little bit longer, some are a little bit shorter, but right in there. And then I also have a bag of mung bean sprouts, which again, we're going to cook half of them in, and then we're going to keep some out to the end. We're going to stir them in right at the end so they keep that nice crunch, and then we'll garnish with some of these too. All right, these shallots are ready. We're going to add the garlic. So here's where we are right now, garlics and shallot. Keep that going for a second. Okay, fixed. Welcome back, Total Wreckage. I'm not confident and I still don't measure as I'm cooking, not knowing whether it'll be like a disaster <laughs> or not as half the fun. That's my cooking method too. What was the cooking method? I missed it. Measuring cups and spoons. Yeah, I don't, I don't do, I have them, but they're like, <laughs> I have it, but it's more like these kind of cute things to keep in my kitchen so that my kitchen looks cute rather than to actually measure things. I have a whole stacking group of owl measuring cups. <laughs> Uh, I'm ridiculous. Okay, we're done with you guys. How are you guys feeling so far? Does this feel like an approachable recipe? All right, we're throwing in the broccoli and the carrots. Twenty-four-seven cooking stream. <laughs> We're going to stir in a little bit of the sauce. So we're just going to mix it back up. So if anything's settled, we're going to uh, make sure that it's not sitting at the bottom. Delicious. So we're just going to use a couple of tablespoons here, three or four maybe, to help start cooking the vegetables down keep them from sticking and to infuse some flavor into those veggies. Soften them up a little bit. I have peanuts here too. We're going to use some peanuts toward the end. A cute way to uh, garnish with a lime is you're going to take your lime and a knife and you're just going to slice in, oops, hold on, sorry guys, slice a little bit. You're not going to do that while you're trying to hold it up and not see what you're doing. Hold on. Thai people are really big into fruit art, and I learned a couple of things while I was over there. So you're just going to cut little kind of divots in the lime and make like a lime flower. I don't know if you can see it. So you just kind of cut the side and make a little lime flower, maybe. Also doing, hey, Simply Ladylike, you guys are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, hold on, let me, I missed some st stuff in chat. Something is being cooked. <laughs> Thanks, Nalia. Do you also need potatoes? I <laughs> uh, Okay, so do you guys have everything uh, Simply Ladylike?
right, here's where we are so far, just so you guys can see. Broccoli carrots, they're uh, settling down a little bit. Getting a little bit softer. I gotta test one to see how we're doing. Almost time to take those out. <laughs> Creative as fuck. Ugh, broccoli. <laughs> You don't have to have the broccoli. It's entirely up to you. I also have um, some fried tofu that I'm going to throw in mine, but you guys totally don't have to throw in yours, but it is something that you can do. All right. We are going to take out the broccoli and carrots. We're going to set those aside. We are going to put the exact same pan back on right on the exact same heat. We're going to take our noodles. We're going to use a little bit more oil. We're going to throw our noodles in. with a bit more sauce. And we're going to use a little bit of sauce and water to uh, cook those down. Let those go for a second. While I catch up on chat, tofu is delicious. I agree. I don't need anything that looks like trees. Tofu is Spanish for bacon. Broccoli is fine. I hate, what's it called in English? I don't know. Hey, Commander Worf, welcome back. Hey, Virtu. But alone, it's yuck. <laughs> you guys are hysterical. English versus Worf, 12 to zero. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and prep my tofu. Um, for these two servings, I'm going to use four of these sticks, and I'm just going to cut them down into smaller pieces. Kind of down into cubes, cube-ish, cube-esque. So they look, you know, like so. Just little cubes of tofu. We'll stir fry those in. We've got our green onions ready to go. We've got our sprouts ready to go. All right, we're getting close, guys. We're almost done. This uh, spatula is a little bit too big for my for my pan. Now. If you want, and this is a little a little bit Americanized, but it is delicious, uh, you can add a little bit of peanut butter here in with the sauce as it cooks down and reduces with the noodles. A tablespoon to two tablespoons. Just go ahead and throw it in right now while they're kind of bubbling away, and it will melt in and add a nice, a really nice peanutty flavor. the rest of our sauce. Noodles are almost done. We're going to add in green onions, sprouts, tofu,
My pot's not big enough. We're going to reduce the heat down to a medium low. We're going to let the sprouts and the green onions start to wilt a bit. And we're going to throw the veggies back in. And we'll mix it all up. Taste it to see how we're doing. Let everything kind of cook in there for about a minute or two together and get your serving bowls ready. I am going to finish this up and garnish it and I will post a picture to Twitter of it completely finished. What temp? Sorry, I'm a bit behind. So you want to start on like a medium, six and a half to seven, to do a little bit of oil with the oil, garlic, and uh, what's the other thing? Shallots to start. All right, are you guys ready to see a picture of the finished product? Go ahead and do this. Got some tongs. I'm going to move it off the heat. Little bit of this, little bit of these, a couple of these. Some, uh, Fresh cilantro right on top. And there we go, guys. It's ready. Let me take a picture real quick. I will send it to Twitter so that you guys can see it. If you have any questions about the, where did I put my phone? About the recipe or things that you need to do, places you need to go to find the ingredients, let me know. Um, if you enjoyed it, please let me know. Hey, thank you for the follow. We're going to do a picture real quick. Let me catch up on chat. Tofu. Tofu time. I've been looking forward to this all day. Yay! In my face. All right, if you guys could let me know what you enjoyed about this, what you didn't enjoy about it, uh, changes I could make if you want to see something like this again. Uh, that was about 40 minutes from start to finish. Um, if you're doing it yourself and you're not explaining all the things in the middle, it can take you. Uh, my my husband is vegetarian. Uh, he can't give up the dairy yet, but we're still working on it, Falcon. Come over to eat ours then. <laughs> yeah, I can actually stop the stream now and restart it if you want, Simply Ladylike, so that you guys can go back and see that. What I didn't enjoy was I couldn't eat it. 
So I'm going to stop the stream real quick so that Simply Ladylike and Viper can see the beginning and finish making theirs. If you guys do end up making it, please post photos to Twitter, review the recipe, let me know how it went. If you'd like to see something like this again, let me know. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it and preparing for it, and I'd be super excited to do more of them if you guys are into it. So just let me know on Twitter or in chat. We're stopping for just a brief moment, and we'll be right back.